Hi guys and welcome back to Vols Books. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and comment down below if you'd like to see more book related content from me because I love making it and I love knowing that people out there are receiving it. If you would like you can also follow me on Instagram at Bells Books uh, where I post most days about the books and things I am reading. Let's talk about Firefly Lane by Kirsten Hanna. Okay I'm just gonna say it, this book made me cry like I couldn't stop crying when I was reading it, it was like a serious issue. Um, I think it might have been because I was reading in the middle of the night, but even now thinking about it I'm starting to feel like a bit, oh, it's such an emotional story and I know that the Netflix show just came out, which I haven't watched yet, but I did watch the trailer and the trailer was super emotional, um, but then I started watching the first episode and I wasn't like quite sure how I felt about like the way it was filmed and the cast and everything because it just wasn't what I had imagined in my head so I kind of put a pause on watching it because I just wanted to think about the book for a little while. So this is a very impressive, well-developed and captivating story about kind of testing the bond of friendship throughout your life, throughout the years. So there are different kind of relationships in the novel, mother-daughter, husband-wife, friendships, um, there's family dramas, um, there's betrayal, there's secrets, there's all kinds of stuff going on and it's all kind of related to this idea of family. The way that the story begins is that in 1974 Kate Malarkey starts eighth grade and she's super unpopular, she has no friends and then the coolest girl in school, um, Tully Hart, moves in across the street and wants to be her friend and they kind of strike up a friendship. Now Tully is beautiful, she's ambitious, she's clever and they kind of feel like they're complete opposite people. Kate has a loving family and Tully is mysterious and cool and trendy but has secrets which kind of weigh her down and make her life incredibly difficult and they decide that they're going to be best friends forever and they are as much as they can be all the way into and through their adult lives. When they grow up and they go to college, um, Tully decides that she wants to be um, a newsroom anchor and uh, Kate Malarkey follows her along on this dream but Kate eventually decides that that's not necessarily what she wants and the friends have to kind of sort that out and battle it um, as they decide what they each do want from their lives. They sometimes have regrets and they're sometimes content with what they've chosen um, and their friendship's difficult, it's challenged, there's a lot kind of at stake at times and the ending is super sad, like oh I don't want to spoil it basically, I just don't want to spoil it for anyone who wants to read it so I really can't get into too much detail. But now would be a good time to talk about the writing. Um, so Kirsten Hannah's writing is not like literary. I knew what I was expecting going into the book in terms of writing, like I was expecting it to be kind of your average chick lit kind of very digestible, very readable kind of writing which also ends up being so emotional and I think it can become quite easy to get emotionally invested in books which are written in a very kind of casual way because they're often written in ways which are similar to like the content we digest online, on social media and also like real life conversations and speech. So in that sense the book is incredibly immersive and you really kind of get sucked into the story which of course is fantastic. But I do love sad books and I love books that make me feel things and I love books about family and I love books about friendship and this just content wise was one of those books that had everything I wanted and it's not like a feel good book, I didn't feel good afterwards but it perhaps is a little bit cathartic, I mean a good cry never hurt anybody. But yeah it just was a good thing for me to read and it was a very restful book to read as well. I think when you read kind of tomes all the time it can get exhausting so it's nice to mix it up with um, books which are a little bit easier you know. So if you're into emotional, poignant, meaningful reads then this is definitely the book for you and I would really recommend it to any kind of young adult who wants a book that's going to make them cry a little bit. If you're looking for further reading recommendations I do love Kirsten Hannah's writing um, I've read a few others of her books so I don't think you could go wrong by reading another one of her novels but I do know also that sometimes if you read too many of one author's works 
one after another, you begin to feel like they're a bit repetitive because they often have similar stories, especially if they're a kind of author who writes a lot of standalone novels. So if you don't want to read like another um, Kirsten Hanna book right after this one, then I might recommend something by Kevin Kwan. Um, he wrote Sex and Vanity. He also wrote Crazy Rich Asians. And I love him as a kind of feel good summer reads kind of author. I'd also recommend The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I read this last summer and it was just hilarious and I enjoyed it so much. It was such a good read. There's one other book that I wanted to recommend. Thanks for the Memories by Cecilia Ahern. I loved this book when I read it. It definitely fits into the category of chiclet feel good. So yeah, that's all from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you thought of Firefly Lane. And if you've watched the Netflix show, is the show good? Should I watch it? Should I invest that time into watching it? Because it's quite a lot of hours um, and I'm really not convinced about it yet. So let me know whether or not I should invest that time and then I can decide when I'm gonna watch it. But yeah, do comment down below with your thoughts about Firefly Lane and then also subscribe and like for more content from me and please do follow me on Instagram at Bells Books. Have a fantastic day. Bye!